Hi guys! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day wherever you are. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we will, in this video guys, we will talk about traffic. 10 differences. We confer the traffic in Philippines versus South Africa. Okay. The first, the number one is the road traffic. So, the difference, guys, is the road traffic here is just, it's not really, the, the road is not really busy. It's not, it's not, compared to, compared to Philippines in Manila, Cebu, Dabao, that even you're using your motorbike, you cannot squeeze in, you cannot, you cannot get through because of heavy traffic. But compared here, that the traffic is just very smooth. So you will make sure that even you wake up, we wake up late to go to work, so you can still arrive at your work right on time. Not like in Philippines, compared to Philippines, you will you will need to walk walk up early because you know that you will stuck in the road in the street for three hours before you will arrive to your workplace. So. That's the that's the difference here, guys. Number the number two is the robot. Robot. What is robot, guys? Robot is in in Philippines. Robot is traffic lights, but here in South Africa they call it robot. But if you if you tell to someone that never been here in South Africa, it's first time here like is from asia first time me guys i first i arrived here then then we go out i heard this someone selling just you we ask a direction someone telling sir is in the first robot second robot you turn left so i'm thinking what is robot so i <laughs> i'm thinking that it's the real robot that like the kids playing <laughs> then then when Frank told me, no, it's it's a traffic light, so that's what they called it, her guys. That the traffic lights we call it in Philippines traffic lights, but here is robot. So that's the difference, guys. Then the number three is the no traffic enforcer, not no traffic cops. You never see it here. Maybe you see guys, but it just a. Uh, you see a checkpoint but not really much it's just a few there and here but they will stop they will never stop motorbike they only stop the cars but no it's just few traffic cops or but no traffic enforcers like the compared to philippines that you will you will see them anywhere in a street in a, i mean in the road in the city you will see them in the middle of the highway to guide the to guide the vehicles to go in the right to go in the left then help the people that crossing the street but here no you will never see that you will never see that here so the number four guys is a uh, few motorbikes so motorbikes here guys is not like in in asia in philippines that the motorbike is a lot is very most of the Filipino using a using a motorbike because of course that we can understand that because the thing is it's better to have your own motorbike than to squeeze in those jeepneys and it's really traffic so here guys you can see her there is there is no uh, n there is but it just few then maybe there is a uh, scooters just for the delivery foods delivery goods delivery just they are not allowed but they are not allowed in the highway they only here in a town delivering food to each of the house that ordering but but they are not in a highway but another uh, big bike but like the our bike in um in the philippines is compared to philippines the bike there is scooter they has the it's not really the bikes there is not really big it's just there's 200cc 250 that's it but here you cannot drive a motorbike in a highway using those kind of motorbike in the philippines like 200cc 250 or scooter no you will fly 
you will fly because the and the highway here the highway is very wide and there is a really a lot of big trucks so when the uh, trucks pass by you you when you're using a motorbike is small you will fly and it's not allowed that's why it's not allowed guys number five number five garage oh what do you think of garage you already thinking garage is the garage that you can park a motor bike you can park your car that's what the garage in philippines in asia right the garage is the one that you will park your vehicle but here the garage is the gasoline station the petrol station that's what they call her garage in my first time here guys the I heard that it's all that oh you go to garage what garage I thought I'm sick expecting garages you can park your cars your motorbike but it's not the garage is a gasoline station and the, and the number one good thing in the garage guys here we talk about that garage we compared in Philippines the garage here and the gasoline station is they has their own air so you have you don't have to worry even you are traveling in the middle of the night then you get a, you could have a flat tire so don't worry because anywhere in the garage or gasoline station you can have a air pump and they are 24 hours and, and it's if you are hungry also in the garage it is a 24 hour shop that take away food drinks or whatever snack you will need or you will like but there compared to philippines okay compared to philippines when you are traveling in the middle of the night you get you can you get a flat tire you have no choice to wait there in the street or to ask somebody you know to pick you up because in the gasoline station in Philippines there is no air pump then all the motorbike shops close early like 5 in the afternoon so that's the difference guys you cannot really trust traveling at night in the Philippines than traveling here in South Africa it's way better here to travel because you know that whatever happens to your car or motorbike you can fix it or you can put a air so that's the difference guys no no street dogs guys that's common in Philippines anywhere in Philippines you can see a dog they love to sleep in a street they love to street to sleep in the highway they love to sleep in the road that's causing accident that's why a lot of people get accident in Philippines especially at night because the dog love to sleep in the street so but here you will never ever see a dogs or cats sleeping in the street they keep their dog inside their house inside their backyard so that's the difference guys so seven is street vendors we know in philippines guys that even how heavy the traffic is there will, there will be always a street vendors beside the street well we should admit it we should ad admit it in philippines that that's also number one causing traffic because sometimes they all they really they really a lot really of them in the street trying well we can understand that because they are trying for the to sell something for their living every day is very hard the life there is very hard so and no beggars here is no beggars nobody no kids 
or nobody will bother you while you are in the street while you are driving you are stop you're stop because you're waiting for the traffic light so it's your turn there's nobody that will knock on your window to ask for a few peso or a few run here no but compared to philippines you will just stop in the street the kids are begging you the kids are knocking your window to can ask some money and or you walking in the street a lot of weaker will following you and they really they really insist they really ask you they really force you to give them even you said that you don't have coins then if you don't give they are the one who get angry they get angry because you did not give that's the fact that's the difference here this number eight is no homeless people I never see her, I never saw yet her a homeless people that's sleeping in the street or beside the street compared to Philippines. You will see them sleeping, especially at night. Homeless people, you will see them sleeping in the, beside the street. You just use a, a carton or a plastic to sleep there but here you will never see a homeless people but there is a lot of people that relaxing in a daytime relaxing in the beside the street they are sitting drinking eating beside the street but they will not sleep there it's not like in philippines they will not sleep there everybody has a home so that's a big difference number nine is no Japanese, no Japanese here, guys. They has a bus here, uh, a mini van. That's what they call her. The taxi. You will pay. You will pay ten ran every anywhere you go. It's thirty peso. But there's no Japanese. There's no multi cabs only van or taxi called Uber <laughs> but and mini buses so number 10 drivers we talk about drivers drivers is here guys the drivers are very polite because when you are when somebody wants to cross the street even it's their even the light is it's their turn even they are the one you sh they should go but they let the people cross first before them then if someone will want to turn right want to turn left even even it's their it's their they are the one who should first go but they just let that someone to turn first before them they are very polite it's not like it's not like in philippines compared to philippines you cannot do that you will you will die because you will cross the street then it's not your turn to cross the street it's not your turn to turn right turn left you will have an accident you will die because they will just go straight and straight they don't care the drivers don't care that's that's the then the and uh here is if you are in a road is driving someone in in front they will put their lights in a dim it's low it's not like in philippines that they really even they saw you there you have a small motorbike then they have a big car or big truck they will not they will not feel they will never feel sorry about you they will really they will never turn their lights into dim or low they will just they don't care if you if you get blinder or you will have accident because their light is just strong that, that's her <laughs> okay guys that's our topic for today in this video 10 differences in philippines versus south africa so 
hope you will still keep watching to my channel and to those guys that is still not subscribing yet please don't forget to like and subscribe keep supporting share the love bye